Hey, hello and welcome to the Man Cave here at Wistful Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a hot one. Well, how hot is it? By the way, I'm using the GoPro with its internal microphone and uh, got a uh, 4K cinematic setting on this. Just going to see how this looks once I transfer it over. But how hot is it? Let's get back to the subject to hand. It's hot. H-O-T-T -T, hot. When it has two T's in hot, that's really, really hot. So we're in the 90s today. I'm going to pan around and show you the um, outdoors here. And there's the Tuona City. Just fired it up and did a little warm-up on it. And uh, we're going to go out here and uh, just look around in the out doors And, oh, man, as the sun hits me, uh, it's that kind of day where you get that uh, tingly feeling when the sun hits you. That's how hot it is. Anyway, um, going to check this out, see how it all turns out. And, uh, oh, uh, got to look at you this way with the sun coming at me this way. Uh, we'll see how it all happens. Toodaloo. Okay. Uh, testing, testing, testing. GoPro just did issued an update on their uh, GoPro 10, which is what this is. I'm trying to film in 4K, and I cannot connect it to my GoPro Quick app for some reason, so I have to do this manually. Uh, but it's only a test. Anyway, did I mention? I did mention earlier. It's hot. Okay, so the only reason or I, that I might think that this uh, whole thing is working is I'm getting a... Um, <laughs> the uh, bar across the bottom of my uh, GoPro that says it's receiving the audio signal. So, the audio signal is getting true, but uh, all the rest of it, God knows. And uh, I've just spent a very frustrating few minutes trying to connect with the uh, updated and improved Sure, <laughs> and improved GoPro app on my GoPro 10. There goes the door, and um, I can't tell you that because I don't know. Uh, truly. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to proceed as if it's all working. And um, did I mention that it's hot? I said earlier it's H O T T hot, but. Uh, I think it may be actually in American English H A W T T hot, which is a little warmer than uh, H O T T hot. Okay, let's fire this little guy up. It did earlier. Hashtag be a racer. Search your personal code. Up goes the kickstand. Uh, all right. Oh my god, this is so good. 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 It's a bit of a bite, and I don't know if you tried to have a in a situation, a much deep situation, trying to get into the or keeping it in the and grab the front of And so what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that I used the uh, GoPro 10 on my machine with the uh, exterior adapter, and uh, it uh, didn't acknowledge it. So what happened was all the sound recording came through the ex internal mic on the GoPro, which gave us great engine noise and etc 
but uh, none of my sterling dialogue, which of course would be such a great treat. <laughs> and I want to share it with you in this uh, video clip, and I did not want to lose the video clip. This is one of the uh, first that I've ever done in 4K, and on the cinematic setting with the new GoPro Quick app, and it looked so good that it just felt like it would be an awful shame to share it. So I'm going to try this out with the um, added dialogue as I sit here under a fan, very warm, uh, 92 degrees Fahrenheit, San Diego. And we're turning on our old familiar road here, San Diego Canyon. And the thing that I want to do in this particular vlog, what I want to cover in this vlog, are just uh, really where I am in my overall health and what's going on and what my immediate future is going to look like and how I'm going to try to keep in contact with, with all the people who've been so kind to me since such wonderful things. But uh, essentially what happens for me is that on or about September 12th, and I'm recording this dialogue on September the 3rd, on or about September 12th, I will begin my radiation treatment therapy. That radiation treatment will be held at the California Proton Center in Sorrento Valley, which is just south of us. Very nice location, very modern location. And proton radiation is a newer form of radiation that is touted to have benefits over the standard photon style radiation. And those uh, benefits are a more narrowly focused beam, a more effective and uh, tighter uh, control beam, and the uh, same or better end results. And I'll be doing that over five and a half weeks daily. Not weekends, thankfully. I'll get the weekends off, but we'll be doing that once per day over five and a half weeks. Now you can schedule yourself. The radiation itself, as I understand it, only lasts about oh, uh, five or ten minutes maximum. So it's not too physically taxing. But to get there and back and uh, the things that you have to do, which I'll talk about in a moment, before the radiation therapy add up to, for us, it's going to be 60, 90 minutes in involvement per day for those five and a half weeks. So the thing that I've heard about is, again, it's not particularly physically taxing. There are no uh, really, uh, as I've been told, no real uh, physical harm issues with the radiation, proton radiation. But I've heard that you can get fatigued. You're going back and forth and somewhat fatigued. So, that's going to happen beginning September 12th. Now, uh, what I want to do is to continue to vlog while I'm undergoing the radiation therapy. And in fact, one of the things that I really want to do, at least one of these therapies, I want to ride my motorcycle to the site and vlog the ride, but uh, not necessarily the interior of the building. But that's an ambition that I want to get to. I don't know if I'll be able to do that early on or uh, later on, but that's uh, a cherished ambition that I would really love to get to. So I'll let you know how that goes because we'll be doing some other things, looping around the garage, uh, even as I'm undergoing this uh, particular therapy. So the other thing to mention uh, that I want to bring up is as I went to the uh, therapy center this last time, I noticed in the parking lot a motorcycle. And that motorcycle was a Triumph Thruxton, which really thrilled me because you know when you see certain types of motorcycles, uh, just like certain types of cars, say, some things about the individuals. And uh, if you see a Triumph, you know that that individual that purchased that and is riding it has given some thought uh, to the type of bike that they want to ride. If you see a Triumph 
Ruxton, you know that that person not only has given that thought, that amount of thought, that uh, uh, look at the type of motorcycle they want to ride, but they've also looked within the Triumph product line and zeroed in on the Thruxton, which means that uh, they have a, uh, a sporting intent and understand a little bit about motorcycles. So that was very exciting for me and, and uh, really something that uh, I remarked to my wife at the time. So uh, seeing that Thruxton out in the parking lot was pretty exciting as I say and when I went in uh, I had a procedure to do just very recently that involved a final MRI to determine uh, just how my prostate was looking under uh, the intended treatment and uh, they also wanted to do a more or less dry run on a radiation treatment that I would be doing. Now the uh, dry run is a bit of a misnomer because you are supposed to drink a certain amount of water that lifts your bladder up and I hope this isn't getting too personal by the way. <laughs> But you drink a certain amount of water to lift your bladder up and that allows them to focus the beam and there's supposed to be less chance of um, unintentioned damage to other organs in the area of the uh, beam that they intend to send down. So uh, it turns out that one of the technicians that was administering this MRI, uh, a gentleman named Matt, is the person that owned that uh, Triumph Ruxton and we had a little talk about motorcycles and he said hey uh, Mr. Cooper are you a rider and you know he sized me over because I'm an older guy I'm a senior guy and I said yes I am and he said well what kind of motorcycle do you have and I said well I have a uh, 2021 Aprilia Tuono factory and he did a double take and he looked at me and he said look at you <laughs> Writing that, he said, I would have never figured that you'd be the last kind of a person. He said, hey, we don't get any motorcycle riders in here, if at all. And if they are, they're on a Harley Davidson. They're not on that kind of a machine. So we, uh, we bonded over some cycle talk for a little while. And he's a delightful chap. And I think I'm going to be in good hands going through this um, proton radiation treatment. And I'll vlog at least once during the course of those treatments. And as I say, it's a cherished ambition of mine to be able to take a motorcycle ride and vlog it, uh, motor vlog it, I guess is the term, take a motorcycle ride and vlog it there and back after my radiation treatment and uh, share it with all of the folks out there. So uh, stay tuned for that. I think that uh, may be one of my more unique adventures <laughs> to get done. <laughs> so uh, this particular day, uh, riding along and, and coming to the end of what uh, our street here, San Diego uh, Road is, now straight out just over that traffic signal is the Pacific Ocean over uh, what will be over our left shoulder at the moment. And as I said, on the day, we were, we were touching temperatures of 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was hot and sweaty. And I was gonna go uh, down along the coast and take a cooling ride along the coast, but uh, we have some traffic intensive events going on, and that dissuaded me from doing so. So I decided, Instead, that I take my one of my favorite little uh, my private Nurburgring, Nurburgring, my private Nurburgring, my private Nurburgring rides up around uh, Rancho Santa Fe. So that's what you're riding along with me doing here, and I do hope you enjoy the ride. Uh, we will be vlogging more in the future. I intend to uh, cover some of the stuff that's going on with my e mountain bike and uh, share that with you all. That's, that's been fun to have. I've done a couple of trails on it. And it's really cool to ride along. And I think it's uh, good physical conditioning for a motorcycle rider. Secondarily, I want to uh, continue on with my senior conditioning. Now, I've had this uh, female hormone 
injection, injection, which has uh, affected my, uh, well, let's just say my energy level a little bit, as well as giving me some uh, actual hot flashes, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, those hot flashes don't work out particularly well on a sudden day like this, I'm telling you. But uh, in any case, I do have enough energy to tend to uh, exercise and try to keep as closely as I possibly can my physical level of activity going forward. Uh, that's important not only for my overall general health, it's also important for uh, preparing the body for the um, things that it has to go through. One of the side effects of this um, hormone injection therapy is uh, weight gain, and uh, I want to try and watch that. I don't mind gaining a few pounds of weight gain, but uh, at the same time, I'd like to stay in a, in a reasonable physical uh, condition and do things that I normally do, like uh, exercise, lifting weights, doing my runs, and riding this uh, e-mountain bike that I, that I want to share with you. So I mention all that, putting it together, and um, that's my immediate plans, and that's an update on uh, what uh, is going to be happening to me beginning September the 12th and I will stay in touch and keep everyone informed of what's going on. If you have any special questions, let me know. I'd, I'd be very happy to share. And again, I'm just hoping this helps someone out. Uh, the last thing I want to mention here as we take a lazy little meander up towards uh, Rancho Santa Fe is that uh, I really, really, let me stress that, I really, really, really appreciate all the kind words and comments that have been sent to me and well wishes and thoughts. Uh, don't feel bad about that at all. I really, really appreciate it. It nourishes my soul and keeps me going on and convincing me that uh, this is a battle I want to fight and this is uh, a worthwhile undertaking. So keep those uh, cards and letters coming in, <laughs> as people say. And I would be I would be delighted to hear from anybody with questions. You know, a few of you have written and told me about relatives or yourself that have gone through a similar adventure, and I also very much uh, appreciate hearing about those because. Uh, if I hear of others that have gone through this and had this done, one gentleman has had it done and he's back out riding his bike and living life to the fullest extent, and, and uh, hey, uh, it's, it's just great. So like I say, don't be shy. Please do uh, let me know what you're thinking about and any well wishes you want to share. Heartily, heartily appreciate it. Well, I think it's time to stop this vlog. We are uh, arrested in development right behind this Chevrolet truck. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hey, let me see if we can snap a quick turn here and get down on uh, this particular street, which is called Calzado's the Boss Shoes of the Boss, and uh, rip her up a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little action. Yeah, we got some speed going. By the way, I have uh, special permission to see the speed limit in this area because I'm such a cool guy. San Diego Police has sent me a note saying, Gary, uh, you can exceed the speed limit here because you're such a cool guy. <laughs> so, but uh, I'll close off and uh, say, hey, thanks for riding along. Take care. Ride safe yourself. Be saved by rock